from Rebecca on Facebook saying, what are your thoughts on day trading? So <laughs> it's exactly what it mentions there. So I don't think that day trading is a good idea for the long-term investor. Many people that try it get burnout really quickly. They find that it's not as easy as it seems. Um, and day trading, in my opinion, is more akin to gambling, which is something that we shouldn't do. You know, the scripture talks a lot about wealth growing little by little. Our strategy involves um, becoming an owner of a company. So whenever you purchase a stock, you're taking an ownership position in a company. So, you know, you want to think about investing a large sum of money, whatever that is for you. If it's a hundred dollars, if it's a thousand dollars, if it's a ten thousand dollars, whatever that is, if it's a hundred thousand dollars, I mean, you wouldn't just go read a few sentences about something and then invest that kind of money in it. You would want to make sure that the business has a solid business plan, that it has the resources that it needs to accomplish the business plan, meaning the the people and the talent that have the ideas and the administration skills to carry out uh, business activities, that they have the capital that they're using their the money in a um, efficient way to create more value for the shareholders. So you want to think of investing as long term because you're not going to go in, you know, if you were looking at buying the little convenience store down on the corner, I mean, if you were looking at investing your life savings in that, you would know, you would want to know a lot of things about it. You know, like how much money does it bring in? What does it cost to run it? You know, how much do I have to pay the employees? And then what's left over as a profit? So that's a more beneficial way of looking at investing. Trading to me is not investing. It's just making a bet on what you think is going to happen in the short term. And lots of things can happen in the short term to derail those plans. So you might think, oh, well, um, I think we're going to have COVID 2.0 and that everything's going to get shut down again. And so I'm going to go into those stocks that were the stay-at-home stocks, the Pelotons and the um, Zooms and the different things like that. And then something could happen and you could be totally wrong. We could refuse to go back into lockdown. Um, so short term, what drives the market is fear and greed. And those are two things that we are cautioned by scripture to avoid. So if those are the things that drive day trading and the scripture tells us to avoid those things, then um, it logically follows for me that we should avoid day trading as well. 